All right, we are going to, depending on how I edit this, at this point I'm thinking of stringing together a bunch of quick seven minute matches to make a video, but uh, I am desperately trying to find a decent match with Sharpedo Victini. So let's see uh, what we get here. Vileplume, have never played a Vileplume deck with Sharpedo Victini before, so I'm actually kind of excited. Unfortunately, my opponent uh, is going to mulligan here, so all I know is he's got Twins and Vile Bloom, uh, which could mean anything. I do see a Charon, uh, which I don't often see in a Vile Plume deck, so I really just don't know. Could be anything, so right now my I'm thinking, alright, is Zora going to be the play here, or Chinchino as a secondary attacker? all really going to depend on what he flips over here. So the most important flip of Sharpedo Victini. And we go first. <laughs> so now I'm thinking um, I have to make a comment. Um, so now I'm thinking he's going to try and Vanillix me. I really wish I had gotten a better hand, for one. Um, I don't really want to waste a dark energy retreating Victini, uh, but I don't think I have a choice. So what I'm going to do is communicate my Sharpedo for Carvana, because that's going to be crucial. And because he's playing Vile Plume, I don't anticipate Catcher, so I'm going to be a little less concerned about my energy drops and things getting Catchered and ruining everything. So I will just go ahead and attach a Dark to Carvana and Oak. So we do get another energy. Actually, I'm quite pleased with that in general. I'm going to be able to retreat my Victini. Um, if worse comes to worse, I actually wish I went to drop that Carvana so I'd have some junk arm fodder so I could get another communication if that's what I have to do. But we'll end our turn. And I'm waiting to see some ice cream. Uh, some vanillish, vanillite, vanillix. Um, I can't imagine what else you'd have Victini and Vile Plume for in the same deck. Um, so in this case, the strip bear is going to be uh, incredibly important because he's going to have candies, he's going to have stage 2 evolutions, he's going to have a very fragile hand for about three turns. Actually, I really... This next turn is going to be crucial because even if I junk arm for a Pokecom, I'm not going to have a Pokemon to communicate out, which is a pretty big mistake on my end. So let's see if uh, luck will bail us out of that error. Um, Kiram. I wasn't expecting a Kiram. Zorark's going to be awesome here, because I've got some great attacks to copy, whether that be Vanillix's attack, and I can just paralyze him, or Kiram and devastate his bench. Uh, this could be a good match. Because I have a Victini too, so I can use Vanillix against him. Um, we'll just have to see how it goes here. It really depends on what I draw, because I don't have a way to get a Zorark or a Sharpedo, because I kind of botched 
laying down that second Carvana, which was definitely a mistake. <clears throat> Is it Carvana? Am I saying this right? Eh, Carvana, Carvana. So we're definitely going to have a chess match here. The Battle of the Victinis. So he's not powering up his Kirim, so he is going to go for the Vanillix, it appears, first, and possibly rely on me retreating to get out of... No, you can't retreat under Paralysis. I don't know what Kirim's for. Possibly to mess up Fire Decks. This Kirim can outrage KO anything a Rush Ram would attempt. And again, my opponent's taking forever. So I'm desperately hoping for either an Oak or a Juniper. some and we'll just lay the plus power just because juniper and hope for alrighty so we're gonna have to junk arm two important cards away um, and at this point that's gonna be a big decision so, I've already gotten rid of two of my eight draw supporters and double colorless. So at this point, I'm thinking I'm gonna be okay to junk arm. And I'm gonna wanna save. So I think that is the only thing we can do here. And I made the same mistake again. Which is pokey coming right <laughs> Man. That hurts. Very slow start. Although his start isn't that fast either, but that's expected. So I had two turns and did not get done what needed to be done. So if this is a vile plume, it's gonna be a little hairy. And we're gonna see. kind of awesome. Um, so I'm definitely going to go for a Zorark. And the question is, copy Kiram or copy Vanillix? And I think I'm going to catch her Kiram. And I desperately need Zorark here. So Pokey Calm. Oh, thank gosh. Whoops. Sorry about that, guys. Let's put that back. Alrighty. So we're going to Pokey Calm. Mencino. I'm waiting for him to acknowledge what is about to happen. Two Zorarks again. Nasty plot, that's what that's called. So he's gonna be able to outrage for 50, which is fine, I think. And go ahead and retreat. 
retreat. Promote Zorark. And if we can get two of these off, uh, that should pretty much end his game. So foul play. Glaciate, obviously. One, two, three, four. So let's make sure. Yep, I haven't discarded a single poke. So a Chinchino is going to be a nice follow up because the Kiram, let's see, is going to have 60 damage on it. So it'll still have 130 to go. So the Outrage is really going to stink here. Being able to take out that. So Vile Plume is out. No more catchers for us. Oh, that's right. He's not going to be able to outrage quite yet. Alrighty, so everything is safe now. Um. I'm going to Collector and get my Mencino. Actually, I have to be careful because I'm going to Juniper on the next turn, so I don't want a handful of Pokemon. And I think I'm going to put the Dark on here because I'm going to have to take out this Kiram, and uh, Chinchino is going to be the only thing that can. And uh, Vanillix is also going to be in prime Chinchino zone. And the screen moved again. And so we'll just foul play again for Glaciate. And take out that Victini. So we've got the energy. We'll just have to hope for a Chinchino, which there are three in my deck. So three out of 30, there's a decent shot, we'll pull it. So now he's gonna be able to outrage for only 80. And he doesn't, he does play black belt. I believe we saw that on the opening mulligan. So I'm gonna attach. Kiram, so long, energy drops, and we're actually disrupting with Zorark instead of Sharpedo. Which is not what I expected, so he's going to need another energy here. And I think this game's pretty much over. So unless he gets double tails, which is possible because he doesn't have Victini. Or will he retreat for a better hand? Alright. So he is going to play this out. So he should have 60 damage on him. 70 damage to go. At this point, I really want a Chinchino, if I'm honest. Alright, so the Ice Cream and another Victini. I only run a 2-2 Zorak line. Zorak, it doesn't really come in handy that much anymore until you get into weird situations like this. So he only needs wood heads to knock me out, and then I'm going to have to decide what I want to do. So I assume I'm going to get knocked out no matter what. So, 
strip bear at this point isn't really going to do anything. So I think we're going to start with a Zorark since it's ready to go. And then retreat if we get a Chinchino. Don't really have a reason to play Victini. I'd rather save bench space for something else. Uh, we're gonna Oak and hope for that Chinchino. Which we still did not get. And that means we're gonna foul play. Frost Breath or Double Freeze. I forget what Frost Breath does if I'm honest. Frost Breath does 60, which is not enough to knock him out. So, double freeze. And we wait for Victini to crash the internet. And so he is paralyzed, which means he cannot retreat or do anything. So he's going to have, I honestly think the game's over at this point. Um, he can't use Rare Candy to get a quick Vanillix. Um, he's going to have to drop the Vanillish and an Energy this turn, and then get the Vanillix and Energy in the next turn to have any hope here. is I'm just gonna have to be able to I'm one prize ahead and I'm just gonna have to make sure I can return knockouts when he either knocks me out or I'm not paralyzed it's gonna be tough though I don't have any thing that can do 130 damage I guess this turn is going to be huge. If I was him, I'd be getting the Vanillish, if it is Vanillish. Vanilla, uh, rare candy. I assume it's Vanillish. And a water energy. That's just his only hope. So, he did one of the two. So where are Chinchino? One. Wow. So two Chinchinos are prized. That kind of changes everything here. So let's see. Do we have... So we actually have a chance to strip bear and get the knockout. I don't have any real need to foul play at this point. I think I'd rather save it and not risk him getting paralyzed. So I'll get rid of this dark. Bring up Sharpedo that can hit for 30 and go for the strip bear. Get rid of whatever twins gave him essentially. And my opponent disconnected. So. We failed on the strip bear, I guess. Didn't give me the opportunity to Victini for a second try. But that's the way Victini goes sometimes. We also, let's see, at this point I wish I had an unknown cure. So now we really have a giant prize lead. engine has died so Victini broke the internet and uh, that happens sometimes so I uh, really wish we could have finished out this game it is the first game I've played with Victini Sharpedo that actually looked like it was gonna last more than three turns um, but this is what happens when you play Pokemon <laughs>